Well, this morning I went to the bottom Tesco's, we've got two, and I was coming back on Rugby Road. Uh, I come different ways home, you know, and just for a change of route, really. It's all much muchness, and I can do it now. So we're coming up here nice and steadily, following a um, delivery driver van, you know, a biggish delivery driver van. And I wanted to turn right onto Greetwell Road here. So there's two lanes, as you can see, from this one. Let me get the mouse out of the way, because it doesn't show up on the thing. Right, you see where the turn right arrow is? So I'm sitting uh, a few cars back, probably about here. Yeah, probably about here. And uh, anyway, the lights change and the cars come towards us and then they stop and the filter arrow comes on. So a few cars in front of me turn right onto Greetwell Road. Um, the traffic lights the other way are at red. So I get up here to my turn, which is a pan left where that bluish car is if you can see it and I'm waiting there now there's two cars waiting to turn right which you can see the black car ahead of me and there was nothing coming so they didn't turn right because the lights from that way are red the filter arrow was on and as I said the cars in front of me had gone anyway luckily for me I was with it this morning because I was about to turn and uh, as I say I was where that blue car is and I was about to turn um, when a white Land Rover or Range Rover, a newish one, coming fairly fast to the traffic lights and I thought he's not going to stop and he didn't and I stopped and he went past me doing this right so I avoided a major accident this morning so just treat traffic lights and roundabouts as junctions and uh, you might survive a bit longer it shook me up a bit but an hour later I was okay you know I mean I've been a banger driver and stock car driver but it's the shock isn't it when it happens on the road anyway take care people well as you can see I've um working in short spells for the last couple of days I have actually managed to to get it mounted and so what well, I've had a, a few problems but that's normal isn't it nowadays and uh, last night I thought well I'll just see I managed to get it mounted and last night I thought well, I'll just have a test with it to see how well it works or if it works or whatever you know and uh, as I say I've got to work quite quickly and do it but we've we've got it done as you can see so I've just only got two bolts in because that's plenty for what we're going to do but the problem was um, the belt kept coming off so I thought what can I do about that so what I've done is make an adjuster so this is today and it's taken all afternoon to do more or less um, so what I've done is uh, I've just got a piece of wood and drilled a hole in the end with a, a long bolt and a nut on so it'll push it across and hopefully hold it in place so um, let's give it a test and just see if the belt stops on and I tried those some more mint leaves and pushed it and I did get a little bit out and the reason it comes to pieces is um, it needs to to clean it you see so I thought what what can I put in and a friend rang and he suggested cornflakes or something like that you know it's just something to crush up isn't it so and then I thought oh, I thought of uh, something else because Mark said two things 
he said it, the paint balls they use were small to go in these grooves. I'll just show you again before we go too far. Right, if you can see in there. I've shown you this, but those small flutes look, they have to go be small enough to go in there. You see? And I've thought of a few things and then today I thought, well what about peas? I know they're going to be a bit wet and that, so I've cooked up some peas and we'll see, we can either make mushy peas, which I don't like, or pea soup, which again I don't like. But the first thing is, we've got to see if the belt stops on. Now, Mark also said, thank you Mark, he said, um, all these pictures have a, a big handle on, about a two foot long handle on, and is the pulley an afterthought, right? Has it been added afterwards? Well, yes it has, because there is a, uh, there is a grub screw hole, and it's been threaded, and the end of the shaft's been threaded, so, that's why I've been having so much problem. Anyway, let's see if it if the belt will stop on. That's the first thing, isn't it? Remember to turn the pestle on again. That's a major milestone, isn't it? <clears throat> Have I turned it back? No, I haven't. Just was testing it. Right, let's see if the engine will go. Now the belts come off again. We're not quite right, are we? As you can see, so where does it want to be? That way a bit. Let's see. Stop the engine and do a little adjustment, can't I? Right, let's uh, stop the engine and turn in the flywheel, get the belt on. Which way is it meant to? Why is it coming off? That wants to be out more. That's what the problem is. I can see. No, the belt is on. I know what's up now. I've got to wind it round and keep this on here, right, which will be on the bottom this time, to get the belt in the right place. That's the problem. So I've turned it round and the belt stopped on, you see. One of the problems is the pulley is not quite lined up. Right, and it's wobbling slightly, so lots of problems. Anyway, I've got two spanners here in case I need them, and see if my adjuster works. And we'll wind it that one in a bit. Right now, this is all good fun, isn't it? At least my health is slightly improved today. So, let's have a go there. Let me just wind it by hand. Well, it's stopping on by hand. Will it now stop on with the engine running? That's the next thing. So turn the patch on again. And wind it round a few times. Turn that back against compression, it is. Wind it round again. Now it's come off again. Right, 
This is what you call testing two. So we have to wind it a bit more this way, I think. Until, unless that nut and bolt isn't working. Why? Ah, we may not have a test at all in a bit. We need two spanners. Let's push it across a bit more. Do it a few turns at a time. It's very, as I say, because the belt is, um, I've moved the belt, you see. Let's do it another bit. Where is that? I wonder if it's jiggling about and doing it. Anyway, that's on there. So, can we come forward and go back and get the belt on? Yeah, that doesn't look right to me, but anyway, that's going to come off at the bottom now. Definitely is. That's not going to stop on. So does it want to go the other way? I don't know why that belt won't stop on, that's not very good, is it? Um. I left it with a bit of adjustment, I've done it as close as I can, but anyway, let's just see. I don't think we're going to have another test today, I think this has got to be it. I do. I think this is going to be it, because this kept happening last night, you see. And, uh, let me just tighten this nut up under here, I've been adapting it and yeah that's come a bit loose that might be not be helping things let's try it there so we've got to put the uh, bottom on first so we take that off and get the belt out of the way again mm. I thought that block would be all right but Proving to be a I mean, nuisance, isn't it? To be honest, that goes up there, and that's there, and back and forward. That's it. Now, I wonder if it can go on. Now, now let's see. That's stopping on by hand. So let's see if we can have another go. Oh dear, I don't want to be certain it's stopping this engine all the while, but anyway, never mind. It has to be done. this trick in the book anyway what I've done is cut about a quarter of an inch off there to see if we're going that way and I've put a bit of tape around the bolt but we've got too much on this end it won't go in which I just showed you but you didn't see because I've done the oldest trick in the book and forgot to press record which I haven't done this time so we take a little bit of this tape off what it is um, I drilled the holes with the same drill I've used for the others, which is a one size oversize, because, you know, to allow for a bit of wiggle room and it didn't matter, did it? So, see if that'll go in now. No, it still doesn't go in. Oh, what's happening here? Girl, I'll tell you what, I'm, you know I don't give up, but very soon I just might on this job. Because sometimes, against all expectation, things do not want to work. That's what I've found, discovered in the past. Don't matter what you do, like on my boat for instance, I'll just, while I'm doing this, I'll, I will just tell you about my boat. I uh, 
It had a YSC 12 engine, which was a bodge job, to be honest, and it shook about. And uh, I used a taper coupling on it, which did work. Now, will that go in now? Yes. How about that? Now, it won't go in far enough, like so, I think. Wants to be in a little bit more. Maybe the hole isn't deep enough now. There's bound to be problems, isn't there? Eh? Anyway, I'm going to uh, reattach this, putting the bolt in that way if I can, and uh, we'll push it across and just see if we can get it far enough. I only, the only reason I put the nut at the top was because of, well, pretty obviously. It's bloody sight like easier, isn't it? So that's why we're struggling with this today. But as I say, I was telling you about my boat anyway, and I um, had a taper coupling on it. You know, taper lock couplings are. Well, it allowed a bit of shuffling, and it wore out, and it did oh thousands of miles. Lasted several years, thousands of miles. Anyway, it wore out and the shaft pulled out, so I bought another one, did my job properly, putting it on, etc, etc, and uh, went down to Boston, the normal Boston trip to Roy, and it, it uh, the shaft pulled out again, it wore it out, it, it was a soft one, so I spent money, which was unusual for me then, especially then, I spent some money. Now. That needs to be about there, I think. So, what we can do now, possibly, is wind this, and if that stops where it is, wind this out a bit. Right? That looks about right to me there. So we'll just uh, wind this out a bit. At least you'll get something to see if it's, <laughs> if it's a thing. Anyway, I spent money on a coupling, uh, you know, uh, it was a van uh, coupling and that, and it just didn't work. Didn't matter what I did, and you've seen that I'm a, was, I can't do very much now, but I, you know, I haven't lost my knowledge, it's just um, I can't do very much. And uh, so, um, I did a, a trip towing a boat from Lincoln to Boston. We got to Barden and it shook the stern tube out and I had to go over so slowly and we set off at 7 in the morning and got there at 12 at night. So uh, <laughs> there's a boating story for you. You know, so you've got something to listen to while I'm attempting to do this job, which is, as you can see is not going the best, is it? It's not going the best. But we'll just see, once again, if we can manage to uh, put the belt on. Now, that's too far. I can tell you that's miles too far. So we can very easily now let that out and the belt should put it across. Right? That's miles too bloody far. Right. Because it was about a quarter of an inch cut off, you see, and I wanted a bit more, so... No, that's not going to stop on. What I might have to do at the end of the day to get this to work, because, as Mark said, this pulley is, shouldn't be here. It shouldn't have a pulley on it. And so... I don't think that will still stop on. Let's have a look. It might. Right, let's just try it at that and see. Um, yeah, what I'm going to have to do is that pull is just put on that shaft and it's not true because you can see it wobbles. And so uh, what I think I'm going to have to do is true that pulley up because, as I said, it shouldn't be there, which is quite a simple job. I can do it with an angle grinder or a Dremel. You know, and I can get it to run a lot truer, and then we may stand a chance. But uh, I'm fast running out of patience with this job. 
So, let's try one last time. See if it stays on or not. If it doesn't, that's it for today. But, but you know, we've had it. You've seen something and we've had a bit of fun, haven't we? And I can manage to do it, that's the main thing. So, no. Right. Well, because it's quite heavy, I'm going to pack up now. I've got two nuts on the top to take off, to lift the grinder off, because with the other bit on now, it's quite heavy. And I'll put it in the shed, and that's it for today. <laughs>